I learned a couple of things about producing. One is people mostly just want an answer. <laughs> it doesn't have to be the right answer. But the only problem with producing is uh, when, when you don't have an answer, you know? I, I, I also f I found two things. One is hire good people and let them do their job. That's it. That's the key. Make sure that, you're, that they can give you everything that they have. If you try to micromanage and impose, what, what are you doing there, you know? The other thing I learned about producing is if you have to tell people you're the producer, you're probably not. <laughs> no, so just do what you have to do. I mean, it's very weak to fall back on. Hey, I'm the producer. I mean, everyone should know that and be pleased with that. Um, it's, it's really a hard job. It's a hard job, and I think you come last. I think that was the other thing that was a surprise to me, was on Family Ties, I came last, which is really where I belonged. You know, nobody wanted to hear about my pro I was there to solve everyone else's problems. Nobody wanted to hear about if I was tired or whatever. It just, and I think it's, it's really about coaching. You know, it's really about, it's really about coaching. Everyone's different. You have to bring people. You have one goal in, in the television world. There's one goal, which is be good when the cameras are rolling. If you're good any other time, it's, it's meaningless. So it's pointless to try to force actors into anything too soon before the cameras are there, you know, uh, to, get the, what, to prove that you can get actors to act too soon. You know, uh, it's pointless. That's why I never like to have run-throughs for a network. Um, we, we have very not, the whole key to success in half hour television is rehearsal and rehearsal and, and rewrite. And it's a, and it's a process of exploration and discovery. It has to be until the final decisions are made. So if you're judging early on, you're making a terrible mistake. And that's why I never like network people there at a reading. I don't like them there. At, uh, we never, we didn't have network run throughs. They're, they're useless. They're, they're pointless. Did you have to fight not to have them? No, not really. Um, I was fortunate, uh, just in a fortunate time. Grant was at NBC, there's sort of family ties now. Grant was at NBC, Brandon was there, uh, the studio was supportive. It, it, makes, it makes no sense. I mean, I'm, I'm there with a very talented group of writers and producers, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I say to Brandon, you're doing 80 shows. What are the chances you're going to come in here like a triage, you know, and you're going to see, in five minutes, you'll see something that we've missed. You're going to see stuff that we've already decided and discarded, or you're going to see things that aren't right. Uh, it, just, it just makes no sense. Um, I don't see the value of it. And also, you have actors, you're forcing actors to perform too early, and then actors maybe can't do it again. If you ask a thoroughbred to run on Tuesday, they can't run again on Friday. I only need them to run on Friday. You have to have the confidence along the way to believe that they'll be there. Um, but it's all about exploration and discovery. Everything has to be open. I always felt that actors, the, the, the biggest mistake an actor can make is to say right away, well, I wouldn't do that. My character wouldn't do that. I said, I'd like to have a nickel for every time I was dragged out of a bar or a girl's house or something. I wouldn't, my character would not do that, you know. I wouldn't say that. You know, I mean, that, yes, you would. And ultimately, on, you may decide you won't. But if you decide too early, all you're doing is putting a ceiling on what you can accomplish in the scene. And I think for writers, too, you have to be very open to what actors have to say. And that, I think that was very exciting, to see actors make your work better, to see actors care enough to come to you and say, Garrett, that, that you know, it's just so, I can't, why would I, I can go here, but, you know? Uh, it was a thrilling combination, especially with Mike, you know, um, because Mike is a genius. And so he didn't like to do it till Friday night in front of the audience. But he would go, when, I got it. I got it. Don't, 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 I got it, you know. Or as I would say to him, stay with that one more day. Because he knew, every actor knew, they would never say a word on our stage they didn't want to say. They never would. But they could never say to me, I won't say that word. You know, I won't say that line. It's right in the middle there is a great space to me, you know. But uh, at, we, so we would have a run through. We'd all sit around the kitchen table. And I would go page by page, line by line with every actor to say, what is it? Where, where are you hung up? Here's what I thought we, here's what we were trying to do. Here's what I thought we accomplished. Here's where I think we let you down as writers. Um, what's, what do I need to look at? We're going back to rewrite now. What do I need to look at, you know? And so everyone has their chance to speak and say what it is. And then Thursday morning when the cameras come in and the money is now rolling, 
the actor's task changes from exploration and discovery to make it work. So you have to have actors who can make that pivot because you can't still be there on Thursday talking about it. It's too late. Everyone's had their say. One person gets to decide. That was me. I thank everybody for their input. But you know what? I have next week's show to write, last week's show to edit. We can't still be there. You know, unless sometimes, you know, Mike, Mike could handle late minute changes. You could give him a new script as he was walking to the set. And, and he would say, if it's well written, it would go right in there. So Mike, Mike sometimes you could do it. If, if I would remember too late how to, how to solve it or finally get the idea of Friday morning, sometimes I would. You know, I go Friday morning, I got it. And this was stuff that, you know, that we redirect, reblock it, read it, whatever. They could do it. But really, you needed actors who were willing to just move on.